welcome back um, <clears throat> so while we discussed uh, power and performance concept and uh, thermal management the power controller units uh, different power states of cpu and cpu core state pack sc state uh, the topic will be incomplete if we do not talk about ddr and pcie power states but these are vast topics and uh, I will be just touching base and very top level overview uh, I will be doing uh, for the sake of uh, completing the discussion of uh, power management, power and performance management because these are the, also the components which uh, makes uh, a difference in overall SOCs, power and performance, right? <clears throat> so let's proceed. So very first I want to present the, the in the DDR tech, technology, uh, the, we can see that its uh, IO voltage is reducing as the technology progresses from DDR2 to DDR5 and our voltages are reduced from 1.8 volt to 1.1 volt and uh, our performance is increasing. Um, we can correlate with the concepts that we have discussed so far, right, obviously, and our dynamic power and our switching power reduces while the performance is better and better okay in ddr um, there there are power down modes but before that let's understand the topic of self refresh so uh, in the low power modes of uh, soc ddr controller also goes into the low power mode and uh, in order to facilitate that uh, ddr memory needs to retain the its content by itself and it needs to be refreshed at a regular interval. When the DDR controller is active, that does the job. And while DDR controller goes into the sleep mode, the, and we want to read and memory content needs to be retained, it enters the self refresh mode. And uh, again, there are that can be automatically uh, automatic self refresh mode where DRAM itself chooses its uh, refresh uh, interval time while in the manual or fixed the controller provides that data how much should be the refresh interval okay while ent entering into the self refresh mode mm -hmm. so self refresh uh, help or facilitate the ddr controller uh, to go into the uh, deeper power down modes within ddr there can be a, a, a power, um, ckie power down mode and and uh, in that uh, there is a counter, uh, idle counter per rank. So in DDR, there are channels and there can be more than one rank in a channel, right? So ranks are nothing but chip select, which basically uh, increases the memory capacity for given uh, amount of uh, address bus, right? So uh, per rank, uh, uh, power down is applied when the CK is off and that can be either APD or PPD right for per rank and only difference between a and apd and ppd is that in ppd the pages which are closed are pre-charged pre -charged means written back into the ddr uh, ram cells and uh, those buffers are also powered down while in the apd buffers remains on okay so this is uh, so ddr clock is disabled and the ddr power is reduced in this mode and uh, this is per rank Uh, <clears throat> so, self refresh happens per channel. I forgot to mention in the previous uh, discussion, and uh, my DRAM power down happens per rank. Okay, and uh, then there are deeper uh, DDR power gating uh, features are available when you are in when the system is in package C3 or deeper states. So it will get the VDD Q or v and VDD two. VDD two, sorry, VDD two is the core voltage and VDD Q is the data bus uh, voltage. We this CCA is the command and address voltage. So in the deeper power states, it actually uh, gets these uh, voltage rails, and uh, uh, <clears throat> there is clock throttling feature is also available, right? DD, DVFS. For C and for Q means C is for core, core voltage and Q is for uh, data channel voltage. Okay. 
core voltage is DD, VDD2 and uh, VDDQ is the uh, data bus voltage. Okay, so this was a top level overview about the DDR power management okay, and different modes available. So same, same way we will just have a top level view of PCIe power management and uh, that will complete our topic. So <clears throat> in, in, DD, in PCIe um, there is a PCIe link and link has its own uh, link power states. L0 is a operational state then there are low power states of the link and uh, uh, there can be L0S or L1 state. If sub states are enabled then there can be L1.1 and L1.2 as well. Okay? and there are L2 and L3 states, okay, lower link power states, while the D states are really are for a particular function, the, the, on the link, the device that is connected in that, in, in that device, there can be more than one, one function, right, so per function, these are the power states, um, D0 to D3 cold, uh, from operational state to intermediate or low power or power of states, okay. So in uh, PCIe, there is ASPM, there is active state power management. The ASPM is autonomous uh, hardware based mechanism, whichever, whenever it sees the bus is idle, it sends the link into the lower power states. Okay. And uh, there is a concept of auxiliary power also that will come into picture in uh, L2 state, we will see in the next slide. So L0 is the active state where all the PCI express transactions are enabled, right? And L0S is the link sleeping state where subset of lanes, some of the lanes may go asleep and this is optional feature. All the main power supplies and, and component reference clocks and internal PLLs must be active in L0S state as well. Okay, so all <clears throat> L1 state, um, uh, here the components internal PLLs may be set off during the L1 while the uh, re uh, platform provided uh, reference clocks must remain active in L1. All the main power supplies also remain active but in this L1 state the TLPs and DLPs transmission is disabled in when the link is in L1 state. Okay. If the sub-states are enabled, then there are L1.1 and L1.2 as well. And uh, the main difference is coming that in these states, the link's common mode voltages are also not required to maintain in L1.2. And uh, further uh, from L1.0, deeper power uh, saving happens in this uh, state. These are based on uh, clock rack signal and uh, based on that clock rack deassertion and certain bits which are enabled, these states are entered. L2 state, uh, so we, so far we understood L1 and L2, L1 is primarily the low power state, L0 to L1 transitions keep on happening. L2 is optional and uh, L2 is only if, if that auxiliary power source is available and the wake up logic is powered by auxiliary power and uh, rest of the power is gated. So that is the L2 power state and L3 there is no power, there is not even auxiliary power. So this I just um, uh, very top level overview of uh, PCI and DDR, how they contribute to overall power management. While we discussed in detail about the concepts of uh, power dissipation in SOC and the power management. So with this um, uh, again I will say that we have just scratched the surface of power and performance management and um, we, there is more um, so hope uh, uh, this uh, this presentation uh, added some value and uh, utilized your time and thanks for your patience and happy learning <laughs>